Hey guys, this is Tata Gavin coming at you guys with a new shoe review, and I'm going to get this done quick, so nobody can mess this thing up. And yes, these are my Adidas Crazy 8 Jerry Lim PEs. Even though I'm not super fond of Adidas, this was Kobe Bryant's first shoe back in 1997, and I am willing to give it a try. And as so I've done for about the past three weeks, these did, in fact, come in my um, overview with the first two with my co-partner, you know, Steven. And yes, so, yeah, thank you guys for the success, more success than my previous on divorce with Spanky Brock. I'm coming at you with a new filmer. This is my channel. I work with Steven. I work with another guy who will make a guest appearance in this video or the next. And yeah, thank you guys. Let's get started with the review and not waste any time. Please go check out my dad's video, The Ghost of Stonewall. I bet it on YouTube already has 10 views. Pass it on if you can make movies. Let's get this thing done. Just go look on its Kickstarter. Just type it in. And yeah, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ToddickAvid25. That is T-A-R-I-Q-A-B-E-D-25. And alright, here, let's get into the review. So basically, these are the Crazy 8s themselves. And this is a patent leather material. We can zoom in on that. Patent leather material. It seems like a new book, like a really soft soft material right here and also on the tongue and these are in a size 12 and a half and they do run wide and they also run a little big so I go stay true to ties and yeah so so um, another thing is is I'm gonna go with the traction first this traction features a full-length herringbone traction pattern and uh, yeah it works well it gets the job done on outdoor and indoor court surfaces as well as um, indoor court surfaces on the dustiest of courts and the cleanest of courts these have got the job done and they're not perfect they're not a great model but they're not bad like they're a solid 8 out of 10 and uh, the only reason they're for 8 out of 10 is they work on any court condition. And, you know, if you keep wiping, they'll be without a problem. And I really don't wipe that much, and they really didn't give me a problem. So, yeah, also has this nice little webbing that really grips the floor, no matter what you move in, in the direction. And staying on the bottom of the shoe is the cushioning, the torsion support system. And that's what this does, is basically it... But it's the cushioning that in the shoe and the cushioning is a full length foam EVA foam is really all Adidas works with and yeah and it worked pretty well I mean that's another like 8 out of 10 I mean the shoe is a solid shoe for the price of $100 and you can find it on sale for $75 at footlocker.com these are a good model for basketball and yeah they work they get the job done and from a traction standpoint and from a cushioning standpoint, I mean, they're nothing like the Kobe's of today, but they get the job done. The EVA foam works. The, the herringbone traction works. It all works together in this nice system. And the shoe, it looks bulky, but it is not that heavy. And uh, the materials are never going to go wrong. I mean, this is all embroidered. Hidden Adidas logo. Um the mesh tongue but there's no ventilation in this shoe whatsoever and yes and uh, let's go with the support and in the support section the support really has uh, these two little things you see right here when you pull on the laces like right here and like basically when you pull it really pulls in and uh... yeah and this is also embroidered. Um, this is something in Chinese. And yeah, very nice. Patent leather. It will crease, so please get your name, your size, but it'll crease if you play in it, no matter what. It has some creasing here, but this is to be expected of a shoe with made out of leather. They're not ripping you off the materials. And the back, also for the support section, has these 3M strips. They also work as a top aglet. And what you do is when you pull, pulls this so it pulls the back and it really locks down your heel 
And yeah, it has a nice little lightweight <clears throat> heel counter in there. And there's an Adidas logo there, sewn in, and there. And also there's this pull tab right here, and a pull tab right here. The laces are nice. Um, yeah, that is about all. I'd probably get these shoes uh, seven. I'd probably get these shoes without ventilation, eight and a half out of ten. The traction works. I mean, this is herringbone. It still has some flaws. It couldn't. It's not necessarily as spiked up, so it really didn't grip the floor as well as other herringbones. But it definitely does get the job done. And basically, that is it for this shoe review. These shoes. They run a little bit big. They're rounded off. Oh yeah. True. So uh, I'll go right here is when you could your ankle um could roll on these, but they're not really. And it has support for that, actually. And that's why this is a wide base. And the shoe supports so well that you can't feel it in there. You will not roll your ankle on a model like this. Very nice. The quality's high. The the price is low. Something you don't find much of these days. And yeah, I mean, I'll give the shoe an eight out of ten. And once I can run to do editing, I'll have this on the screen. But right now I won't. So I'll probably give traction eight out of ten. The materials a ten out of ten. Uh, ventilation zero out of ten. Support nine out of ten. And I give cushioning about an eight out of 10. That is all for this review. Thank you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This helps me. This helps the channel. I do this for the love of the game and just the love of shoes in, in general. And I'll also come at you guys part of this channel with some other reviews of toys maybe uh, and other stuff, collectibles and socks and just apparel. And I have some stuff definitely that I will performance review like these socks. I mean I'm really into this and this is a hobby of mine that I will really do for a long time. And thank you. See y'all later.